Yes, sir. Thank you. This one is a rezoning request by Richard Hill. The property that's a little less than two acres. It's, I think, 1.94 acres. That's the summation of four existing parcels of land. The rezone from R10 to CC. Property is located at the southwest corner of Nan Street and River Street. This is in the River Street corridor between Mormon Drive and St. Augustine Road. Uh, the zoning pattern, <coughs> as you see on the map, um, is R10 for most everything south of River Street uh, and the River Street corridor. And elsewhere, you see Highway Commercial is the dominant zoning pattern. This whole R10 area, um, to give you some background, is the county unincorporated island that the city annexed in 2006 and had R10 zoning in the county at that time was given R10 zoning in the city upon annexation. However, there are non-conforming uses. Um, you have, of course, single-family residences around, but interestingly, on the east side of Nan Street is an existing mobile home park and RV park that has been there for many, many years. Um, we did some research several years ago on mobile homes within the city. Some of the oldest ones within the city are in these mobile home parks. They have been there a very long time. You also see an area of RP zoning. It's one street over to the east on uh, Simpson Street. That is undeveloped land. And it was a speculative rezoning oh, 20 or more years ago. Uh, but just nothing has ever happened. But it did factor into a little bit of staff's discussion, which is noted there in the packet. But some more information about the property. This whole area is Community Activity Center, uh, which means R10 zoning is what we call non-compliant. It simply means that R10 is not intensive enough for the Carica area. Um, it would need to be RM zoning at least, and that is simply because of the nature of the general area. Mormon Drive, San Augustine Road, Hill Avenue corridors were intensive. This is the area in between. So R10 is sort of the anomaly that is there, and that is supportive of a zoning change. Aerial imagery, um, not a whole lot has changed in recent years. But you see the uh, residential structures on the subject property. There are three rental houses there with four lots, one of them being vacant. You see the RVs and the mobile homes on properties to the east. You also see the commercial development along River Street and some of the larger commercial development in the areas to the west of the neighborhood. Um, those of you familiar with the area, that is the Enterprise Drive and that area that developed mainly back in the early 90s. Boundary survey is drawn by the applicant um, using deeds and other survey information to piece it together as a puzzle to pretty good job of it. Site sketch, um, the applicant drew this as a demonstration of a site development that would be commercial or perhaps office in nature as a little village that would fit on these two acres of land. This is not a proposed site plan. Um, simply to demonstrate how much development the land could hold. Um, but the applicant did a very good job sketching out, I think, a village that would fit as best as one could expect in this area. Notice it's three different buildings parking around um, in the detention area on the south side for the neighborhood. Uh, photographs, subject property, these again are existing rental houses that the applicant and his extended family own. Um, this is the property on the corner. Two different views, first from River Street, then from Man Street, and then the property that is the southernmost parcel going down Man Street. Adjacent, this is the view looking westward down the river toward Norman Drive. The eastward view back towards St. Augustine Road, where there's a traffic light. Directly across the street is some of the commercial development. And then we have the RV and mobile home parks on the properties to the east. This is looking across from the subject property. And then this is the view looking back north of Nan Street toward the River Street intersection. Um, lots of interesting thought process in this, trying to look long term as to how this R10 area would likely transform into a more intensive development pattern over time. Um, staff believes that the properties fronting River Street as a commercial zoning make good sense. CH seems a little too intensive, particularly since there's a neighborhood to the south. Um, and many of the uses you know, elsewhere on River Street are not quite CH, but CC works. But a reluctance to put commercial zoning deep into the neighborhood, one, because of the distance, and two, because there's no specific use or specific site plan for that commercial development in mind. 
So with that, staff is recommending a split approval that the two parcels fronting River Street, which is the majority of the acreage, 1.1 uh, acres of it, to be rezoned from R10 to CC. And then the rest of the property, which are the two parcels that only front Main Street, to be rezoned to RP, and that's 0.76 acres worth. Um, because it is speculative in nature, the applicant is wanting to market the property for maybe commercial, maybe office, maybe multifamily. The CC and the RP both allow offices, they both allow multifamily, and the CC portion would allow the commercial. So a little bit of the best of both worlds under that kind of scenario. Um, and of course this is after finding consistent with the comprehensive plan, the standards for the exercise of zoning power, which are there in the packet. Um, I'd be glad to answer any questions you may have. Commissioners, any questions for staff? Matt, can you go back to the aerial? I'm, I'm still a little confused on this one from the work session. Um, you said only the lots fronting Nan Street will not be recommended for CC? Well, the aerial, you see the four different parcels. Um, the two on the north, the one on the southernmost, currently have a single family residence. The smaller parcel in the middle is a vacant lot. Um, so the recommendation is for the two larger ones facing river to be commercial, the one on the south to <coughs> the RP, actually the two on the south. Um, the applicant's survey gives the acreages and the dimensions and so forth. But the aerial shows where the existing buildings are. Yeah. Um, the concern is you've got a, a non-conforming use that's been there a long time to the east. To me, that changes it to no longer a single-family neighborhood. For those to be a conforming use, it would have to be rezoned to commercial. Not that I think that's a good idea for those properties, but it is not single-family homes across the street to the east. If that were the case, staff's recommendation would be different. It is simply the two facing river to be commercial and the yes. other two to be RP. But those two, not trying to split hairs, but those two on the front, at least on one side, also touch Nan Street, right? The one corner lot touches both. Okay. All right. So, yeah, Thank it's you. Fronting river or fronting Nan only. Thank you for that clarification. Any other questions for staff? Okay, then we will open the public hearing portion of this case. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? So please come forward and state your name and address for the record. Richard Hill. I reside at uh, 2419 South 40 Road by Lost Georgia. And uh, having served on this commission for over 12 years, I know how important the staff recommendation is. And uh, I would like to bring up some points and reiterate that uh, when I went in for the pre-application meeting, I, was, I went in as CH because to the north, 80 feet away is CH with uh, uh, strokes companies, vehicles going and coming, uh, machine shops, automobile repair centers, which is CH. Uh, to the west, 100 feet is CH. It's a wooded lot. It'll never be anything but CC or CH to the, to the west. To the, to the south is, and the R10 lot is a wooded lot. Nothing will ever be built on that except either apartments or commercial. Um, to the east, and there's a vacant lot to the south, to the east is about 10 mobile homes, which go 200 feet beyond this Nam Street property. The edge of it is mobile homes, which will never be, and they're pretty, pretty tough, uh, <coughs> which I feel is, you know, within a certain amount of time. This area is going to be developed commercial. You know that, I know that. I, I can easily see that from that drawing that it's surrounded by CX zone. So, the request is for CC. I backed down off the CH. It went to CC to try to get them approval. And uh, uh, the RH, I mean the RP was put in uh, uh, by staff recommendation. But if you look at the site plan, we've turned the back of the design and oriented the building storefronts to the River Street area. 
We put a retention pond along that vacant lot. There's a wooded lot where, where we've got uh, parking. We've oriented everything to River Street in hopes of we'll meet the city's buffering requirements for this vacant lot. But we feel very strongly that we're gonna, we would like to orient everything to the River Street area. If you put RP zoning on this requirement, then those would only be office buildings and they couldn't be retailed. But we request and, and implore you to put a CC zoning on all of it. And I would be happy to answer any questions you might have. Any questions for Mr. Hill? I, mean, I do have a question for Matt, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Um, uh, look, just a minute. No uh, questions for Mr. Hill. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Oh, you, oh. Mr. Hill? Sorry, Mr. Hill? Yes, uh, I've got a little confusion on our side of the table. Come, <laughs> coming back up, please. Mr. Hill, I just wanted to ask, so um, from what you've shared, it sounds as if this um, this sketched layout that you have, this plan, site plan that you have kind of sketched out, is what your plan, is this what your plan is, your plan for both? We plan to market the property. We do not plan to develop the property, okay? Uh, there's five siblings involved in the property, but I'm an architect and this is the way I would develop the property. If someone came to me and said, Mr. Architect, we'll pay you to develop this the most opportune way, this is the way I would design it. I mean, I, I feel pretty strongly that everything orients toward the river. That's where the vehicle traffic is at. And uh, that's where you want your storefronts, is toward the river street. You see the smaller shops on the middle retail oriented towards it. We got two stores to the Facing the center parking area, but I feel like I feel like this is the way it would be. That answer your question, Commissioner. Okay. Uh, any other questions for Mr. Hill? Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this case? Please come forward. Mr. Chairman, I still have a question hovering that I would like to ask for Mr. Martin. Yes, go ahead. You could wait till we finish. You, you have time after the, but go ahead. Yeah, I don't want to eat into the public hearing time, but uh, Mr. Hill made a comment that I wanted to address, that retail could not be uh, part of the RP, but I thought retail could go in RP. Am I wrong? No, that didn't pay higher uh, certain retail use of the right, by special exception. And, you know, and the comment on the site plan here, and I like the site plan he drew it, as best a scenario as you possibly can. But keep in mind, under the recommendation for a split of CC and RP, if you were to apply that to the site plan, the two buildings on the north, which is the one on the upper left, you see is retail office building. Right. That area would be zone CC. Mm -hmm. And the way I would envision this is one site with split zoning. So that building would be open to full uses of CC zoning. The uh, coffee shop building that's there in the corner, uh -huh. also CC zoning, so full range of commercial uses. Okay. The only one that would be restricted is the southern building where it says retail or slash office building. That would be held to professional offices. The other possibility on that building or anywhere on the site is multifamily. CC zoning and RP both allow multifamily. Mm -hmm. So you could have a small okay. office or uh, apartment building mixed in with this or maybe come back with a mixed use scenario. Okay. But yeah, that was partly with this site plan in mind, and that's why I included the middle parcel. All right, thank you for clarifying that. Is there anyone else here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? If so, please come forward. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak against this case? If so, please come forward. Seeing no one, that will end the public hearing portion of this case. Commissioners, any questions for staff? <laughs> Mr. Martin, can you speak to some of the more intensive uses that would be eliminated from CH <coughs> to CC? From CH to CC? Well, the Crestwood Court is, is for CC, but CH allows many warehouses, all the body shops, some of the heavier automotive type uses, trucking terminals things a little more intensive than your typical retail or service shop. RP allows the offices and multifamily, but not retail sales. No, you just answered my question. Okay, thank you. 
Any other questions for staff? Then I will call for a motion on this case if someone would like to make one. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Case that enforces in the VA 2024-01 rezone 1.94 acres from R10 to CC. I make a motion that we recommend this to City Council. For the entire tract in CC? Is that, is yes, that? I'm sorry. Yes, no, that's fine. I'll just make sure. Maybe not. Okay, so we have a motion. We have a motion to recommend approval for the entire track being rezoned to CC. Is that correct, Commissioner Bailey? That's correct, sir. And we have a second by Commissioner Wiles. All in favor of the motion, please raise your hand. So the recommendation to approve for 100% CC is passed. <coughs> That concludes the city of Aldosta cases, and I think that leaves 